guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be going over all of my tips and tricks for my 30 day hair challenge for the month of november i started the hair challenge yesterday on november 1st i did my hair last night and i just want to give you guys some of the tips and tricks that i'm going to follow and if you guys want to join in on my hair challenge then you're more than welcome to but before we get into this video if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time that i post a new video and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section down below and without further ado let's get into the video so first I want to get into the actual length of what my hair is because when you are doing a challenge you want to make sure that you keep track of your hair growth before the challenge and then track it again after you finish the challenge so I'm gonna insert a picture here it was nine and a half inches I'm gonna insert the picture right here and that is the length of my hair right now like I said it is nine and a half inches so I'm going to be doing another one on the 30th of November to kind of close out the challenge and also you guys can send me links and whatnot to your videos or send me pictures on my Instagram which is also linked below in the description box but we're just gonna get into the tips for this 30 day hair challenge so the first tip that I have for you is no touching so when you have a protective style in your hair you get a lot of breakage and a lot of split ends and single strand knots from touching your hair and hair getting like tangled with each other you want to keep your hands out of your hair at all times you want to just put it up in a ponytail or put it up in a low bun and your hair will not be able to be touched because it's not in a state that you know you're constantly messing with it and you just don't want to touch your hair the next tip that I have is drink a lot of water you want to keep a water bottle near you at all times because your hair is like a plant and when you drink water you are watering your roots I guess you can say if you drink water your body will love it your skin will love it and your hair will love it your hair will grow you will definitely see results when you drink the water that you're supposed to have so drink a lot of water you want to refresh your hair and keep it moisturized you want to make sure that you oil your scalp every like once a week twice a week if you need to depending on how dry your hair gets how often you need to refresh your hair underneath your protective style or with your protective style depending on the protective style that you choose you want to definitely use a growth serum because you want to maximize your benefits when it comes to growing your hair during a growth challenge keeping your hair moisturized is also very important not just because you want to reap the benefits of growth or healthy hair it's if you do not moisturize your hair your hair will break off and your hair will actually suffer from that protective style that is not being kept moisturized and refreshed every so days that you need to keep it refreshed the next tip that I have for you guys is to definitely use some type of growth oil or product just use something that says hair growth for me I'm going to be using the peppermint Jamaican black castor oil or any oil that contains peppermint because peppermint is stimulates the hair growth if you apply it to your scalp you can kind of feel the tingling from the peppermint which is stimulating the hair growth so I definitely go for like minty flavors or something for my hair growth I'm putting it in my water bottle I'm putting it in my oil applicator and I'm just going to be applying it to my scalp maybe once or twice a week and making sure that I give myself a nice scalp massage with it as well the next tip that I have for you guys is to take a vitamin if you are underage of course consult a parent before you go out and purchase a vitamin definitely want to ask your parents a vitamin that I recommend is definitely the the sugar bear hair vitamins and the hair affinity vitamins and the hair 369 vitamins I'll leave them all linked down in the description box below the last tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that you are protecting your hair at night whether it's a satin pillowcase a satin scarf a satin bonnet make sure you're wearing something over your hair make sure you're not using heat tools on your hair at all because this is a challenge for protecting your hair and growing your hair and you want to just stay away from all type of heat tools including a blow dryer you kind of just want to let it air dry and do its own thing try not to wear your hair down every day because it will rub against your clothing and it will cause friction and cause your ends to split or your hair to break off so just try to keep your try to keep your hair nice and protected during this 30 day challenge because if you aren't protecting your hair then there's no point even trying to do this challenge because you're just going to cause your hair to be worse off in the long run so like i said earlier in the video make sure that you follow me on my instagram i'm going to also leave it right here and you guys will be able to send me your results before and after results on instagram if you would like to I would love to see you guys results for how much growth you receive I just want to be a part of that journey with you guys and I'm also going to be back on November 30th posting another video like this to let you guys know of any growth I received yeah I'm glad that I get to bring you guys along the way for the journey that is all that I have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give it a big big thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification button because you do not want to miss a video that I post I will be posting videos more often so make sure you stay tuned for that and also comment below any video suggestion ideas that you have for me also follow my social media accounts down below they are linked in the the description box and thank you guys for watching bye